Hi, welcome everybody Kaka to boom. first video on uh -huh. the Jumpers Club. Hey, we're gonna be playing my game Ox Wars. Ox Wars. Chill back, relax. You feel me? This is not no podcast on the Jumpers <laughs> Club. Let's go. Maybe I went today. Let's get right, it, bro. Go. If you were Snow White, what song would you sing to attract animals? Oh. You're the president. Choose the new national anthem. Oh. And I can't keep up, got me silly like, hey, well, It's this time is Africa. Africa. Oh, Come on, you, have to, you can snap on this. We got some new bands, we got some- Oh, there's another <laughs> We don't bleed, nigga. I heard you in the field. Let's go, dude. Let's go, dude. See a lead, not leaving. Top <laughs> For a wanted criminal in hiding, play a song for the vibe. Wanted! Wanted! I think I know what you're gonna play. <laughs> I don't miss with these themes, bro. Retake, <laughs> take it, man! Let's Come go! On, man. I'm gonna take it, I don't think you want no action. Yeah. I just think a different song. Whoa! Dude, I'm gonna play trophy. Come on, bro. I know we just got a really big team. Turn the lights in here, baby. Jumpers Club out. Deuces. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> what? I've, I've, I've been wearing this. Like, oh, that's recently. fire. You seen this? Here? That's fire. So y'all thought you can catch me lacking? <laughs> I got this shit on now. Feel me? You see that? Yeah. Y'all can't catch me lacking. Yo, I, I know I know. there's some people putting some next yeah, like energies on energy you. on me, fam. Yeah. To be honest, if, if you would really feel it if you feel more depressed just randomly that mean that means they're getting to you yeah i know i know my energy like i know yeah. how i feel i know how i go yeah and certain things bro mm -hmm. whether like okay for example like if i post something yeah sometimes man mm -hmm. like when i post i feel like something right away i'm like what the fuck yeah like what, what's going on here mm -hmm. and it's not me because yeah. i know it's not me it's something else. Yeah. Do you believe in that? Yes. Because uh, what you're saying, you're posting on your Instagram. Yeah. Yeah. Because when, when you post on your Instagram, you're opening you're opening your life to people who can judge you right away. Mm. Right? And that's probably why you feel. So that's why you have your close friends. Yeah. And wh whatever you post there, it's like not, not judgmental. Or you have a spam, you, you, know you feel completely throw? free. You know what though? Even if I do post on close friends, I do have that. What? Yeah. Really? It, this, is that a sign? Yeah. It's funny because I was having this talk of like, energies with um a close friend of mine yeah and she she was telling me like um how her friend she saw how healthy and how good her energy was and she was starting to get jealous mm. but she didn't really want to like since this was her best friend since i guess kindergarten you know they grew up together mm -hmm. it's hard cutting off those friends right but i told her it's like since we don't live a long life already yeah what's the point of hanging around people with bad energies Right, because that that that's when um dramas come. That's when beef, random beefs come. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And I don't want to spend my whole life. But it's fun, in bro. That shit you're, is nah, you're fun, man. No, but listen, look. <laughs> like, uh, I was introducing you to to all my friends, and yeah. when when they said, "Yo, Gavin, you have a crazy circle," because everyone is just like you. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no one different. Everyone's good vibes, good energy. I'm like, yeah. Why do you think? Because mm -hmm. if if I see bad energy anywhere, I'm so quick to cut you off. Yeah. I yeah, I, I think I think I do that. I do cut off the negative in my life, but yeah. at the same time, I still I still try and entertain it. You know, feel how? Me? Feel me? I, I try how, and entertain. Why? It. I don't <laughs> know. There's the something. Point? There's something that intrigues me about it. You know, there's something that intrigues me, and I feel like a lot of yeah. people can relate. Where that's where you see people fall into like toxic relationships. I'm yeah. not saying I'm in a toxic yeah, relationship, yeah, but like that's how you see other people. Yeah, maybe they get into like toxic relationships with friends or yeah. like significant others mm -hmm. it's i think it's that like um that allure of the mystery feel me because i'm a mystery. very i'm a very like enjoyable mysterious guy feel me I, yeah. I like i like mystery yeah that's true i feel like i feel like we're both very uh we have a large large following mm. but we don't post a lot that's what creates the mystery that's what i like about it the most yeah yeah because before i used to share everything about like me but now it's like nah you don't know but, but when I do, when I do, you'll you'll find out. I think I think you're supposed to though. I think that's like See, but that's, that's part of the job. But but why is that such a norm? Why can't we reverse it so it's like all oh, these big social media? I feel like people like you more when there's more mystery. No, nah. That's that's kind of that's kind of I don't know. There's there's ways you can look at it. Yeah. There's ways you can look at it. Okay. Because I feel I feel if if you don't post or like if you're not apparent in what's your and what people are seeing, yeah, you'll get forgotten. 
Mm, okay. Which is very true. No, that is. That, that happens is. a lot, even to even to like creators I look at. Yeah. Like I'll forget about people just because they're not showing up. Yeah. I know. Right. I think. I think the biggest one is um the argument I had with Emson was Sofago. Yeah. Because he was so big and doing this and doing this. Oh, but Sofago kind of. I, I. He kind of. I'm not gonna lie. Too. He, he kind of disappeared too. Kind of disappeared too. And I was like, too. I was like, yo. So maybe my my theory. The potential. <laughs> the potential he had. I don't know if it was the label holding him back. Yeah. But the potential he had to drop. Just keep dropping music. Yeah. He yeah, been yeah. Maybe maybe the next Travis Scott by now. Oh, yo, that he could. Yeah. He could have, but I think I think there was. He w- he didn't have that much of like a, a drive in the market, feel yeah, me? Yeah. He didn't have that like um that allure, like everybody come, everybody yes, come. It's yes. more like if you fuck me, you fuck me. You if fuck you don't, me. you don't. Yeah, it's like a cult. That's like yeah, a cult. yeah. So not a lot of people entered. But but you know what? You know what? You had a good point like long time ago when you predicted Yeet. What what I say? When, when you said Yeet's gonna be like next up. Okay. Cause you you said that right? You said that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And honestly, cause still today, still to this day, like I'm I'm not a huge fan of you. I'm not gonna lie. I'm <laughs> yeah. not. I don't I don't get it as much. Yeah, but yeah. I still I still bump to it. Like, yeah. What, what's that? What's that song called? Uh, uh, poppin. Uh, oh yeah, uh, poppin. Uh, poppin. Uh, poppin is fun. Uh, poppin. Uh, that's uh, one of my favorite yo, songs. The, yeah. the way he says bopper is just. It's I just need like crack. a bopper. A bopper. <laughs> that shit is like crack. I don't know what what he put in those lyrics. And I think I think when you have somebody like that, where it is like an underground thing, yeah. But it's it's a very like um if you want to join join yeah if you want if you want to be a part you're you're a part yep but those undergrounds where it's like um no this is our our click mm-hmm. you can't join you yeah. can't join yeah. that's when that's when i think celebrities find they're like um they hold off on their success mm-hmm. yeah i guess it's like the e- an ego thing yeah like you're acting too cool you know maybe yeah and I you, think close that's off, you close off your circle yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly do you know um Rockefeller studio. Oh like, yeah, the Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the Kanye. Dog. So, so Rockefeller yeah. signed Jay Z. He signed a lot. I think he signed Beyonce too. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Rockefeller. Do you know where that word Rockefeller came from? Rockefeller. No, where is that? So Rockefeller. So <laughs> that's that's a take. Yeah. On David Rockefeller. Okay. Do you know who David Rockefeller is? No, I don't. Who's that? David Rockefeller is one of the richest people in American history. Holy. I think he was worth like $430 billion mm. when he was alive. He was well, alive. what happened was, okay. so he he was like one of the first people to have a monopoly in the oil market. Oh, that, crazy. Yeah, you're, crazy. you're rich already. And I think this was during like the 1930s mm-hmm. or, or even earlier. Yeah. So imagine cars are just coming out and you own every piece of oil, <laughs> oil. that's <laughs> fucked. that's fucked, yeah, right? yeah so there's a lot of whole conspiracies with um the illuminati being part of rockefeller mm. and then that's why it's like um it's like very taboo with with rockefeller studio okay. and the illuminati because jay-z's putting up the rock yeah yeah, feel me? yeah, the rock, yeah. yeah. illuminati stuff. rich you feel me yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Like so i'm not going to talk too much about david rockefeller mm-hmm. but i want to talk to you about one of his like family members okay. like later on in life okay well, so i believe it? his son had it's probably his like his grandson i think his grandson okay so let me get his name hold on yeah yeah this so i know exactly his name okay nelson nelson rockefeller mm-hmm. have you ever heard of the nelson rockefeller unsolved mystery no i haven't check this out okay. holy okay, shit right, right. so nelson rockefeller right yeah he went into um you know you know the netherland new guinea Netherlands, okay. New Guinea. Yeah. So he traveled there to go and do like a documentary with this tribe, right? Mm, okay. I think um I think the tribe is called the Ozma. Yeah. The Ozma tribe. Anyways, so he went out there, went to go do his documentary, okay. study them, hang out with them, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. What happened was on his way back home, mm-hmm. his boat got like it got destroyed or something, right? Yeah, yeah. So he they were stuck at sea. Okay. And He's, they're stuck there, him and his crew. And he's like, you know, I'm not going to stay here forever. Yeah. I'm not trying to, I'm, I, I want to get out of here ASAP, right? Mm-hmm. So what he did, he took like these Bowies, right? The flotation devices in the boat. Yeah. Like I can make it over there. Okay. So he he sat on the thing and he took like a stick and paddled his way over okay. towards an island, right? Mm, okay. Now the people on the boat say that was the last time they ever saw Nelson Rockefeller again. Really? What so, happened? No body was ever recovered. Yeah. And nobody knew where he was headed towards, right? Okay, okay. So there's a bunch of theories yeah. that people think what happened to him. Okay. And one of the craziest ones is what? 
he was eaten by cannibals. Word. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Cause there's another story. I'll tell it yeah, after. Yeah, yeah. yeah, about tribes. So so there's this tribe there, right? Yeah. And they're they're known as like a cannibal tribe. Okay. So there's a theory that he found his way to the shore. Yeah. And this tribe, they ate him. Ate his body, yeah. so there's no, there's nothing to recover from it, right? Okay. Yeah. So I believe they did like a full search, yeah. like a whole search of the area, right? <laughs> now, what happened was, um, the I think the Dutch, right? Because mm -hmm. it's the Netherlands. Yeah. The Dutch they deemed it as, oh, he probably just got lost at sea because yeah. they couldn't find any evidence, For nothing, sure. right? Yeah. Now the conspiracy is that they were so embarrassed that the tribes they have cannibal tribes in that area uh -huh. that they didn't want to say it's a possibility. So they closed that case. Yeah. Closed. Case closed, right? Okay. Now, what's crazy, bro? <laughs> what? So, I think 19, like, 70 or 19, like, 69, mm -hmm. there's footage of what? Of this white guy <laughs> with this tribe in the same area, the same tribe. Now, look. Okay. I'm going to show you this video. Okay, okay. Check this out. Let me see. I found Milt's footage. And so they found this footage, right? Electronically, a frame at a time. And they were looking, they were looking at the tribe. So, so there was like a bunch a of boats of, of the tribe now. members, Kirk, of the natives, they're paddling. And Malcolm Kirk was there and he films this as matter armada that's going by quickly, just like this. So there must have been... So see how many boats there are, right? Holy they're shit. all paddling, right? Yeah. The now if you look closely, look. Look at this shit, bro. Out of all of the tribes members, you see one person sticking out like a sore thumb. You see that? You see that, bro? They got him. You see that? They got So that was the guy. That was the guy that um you said got lost. Yeah. So the theory is, yeah, he didn't die. He didn't get yeah. eaten. And what's crazy, this okay. is what's crazy. Yeah. So he was, he was very like, um, very into the culture, right? Mm -hmm. Cause that's why he was doing the documentary. Yeah. This is the theory. The theory is that he wanted to be praised as a white God. Oh, to so the he joined tribes, the tribe. To the tribes. He yeah. wanted to be praised as like this, this um, idol. Oh, to the okay. tribes people. Yeah. So he tried to assimilate himself in that culture. Holy. Wait, wait. So is the island like um closed off now? Because he's had his like, he's had his, oh, okay, this is my tribe now. I don't mm. want any other white people. <laughs> I think, I think like regular people, they're not allowed they're not to allowed. enter that island. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like closed off. Okay. I thought, I thought you were talking about, um, because there's this other story. Yeah. I don't know if you know North Centennial Island. North Centennial Island. Have you heard of that? I think I might have. Yeah. So, so tell me a story. So th these are, these are like, this is a place where you're not allowed to uh, visit. And if you do, it's very illegal, right? Yeah, yeah. And there was this like, I guess- Wait, is it in India or no? Mm, I, I don't, I'm not sure. I, okay. don't, I don't want to say yeah. anything wrong. You feel me? So I think in, so in 2008, yeah. a guy, he vlogged it and mm -hmm. he took so many pictures of it. I think his name is John Chow. Mm -hmm. He went to preach Christianity to yeah. like to like the tribes people right mm -hmm. and and when the uh i think the last time he was seen was he was on a boat with all of them right yeah. literally like that and he took a selfie and there was many boats behind him and shit like that yeah yeah, right? yeah but that was the last time he was seen right and it was said that they killed him with with bows and arrows oh, and shit. ate his body so so they cannibalized him yeah, cannibalized him damn but is this guy still alive or no so that's the thing like they have this footage yeah. but they never went back <clears throat> Okay, because they that never guy, went yeah. back. The guy that I'm talking about is dead. Yeah, because case is closed, right? Like, yeah. They can't really like prove anything. Exactly, and that's why it gets it gets very like suspicious. Yeah, because if you were trying to like disappear from the world, oh, I forgot to tell you. What? So you know how he's a Rockefeller, right? Okay, so yeah. his dad was one of I think he was vice president of the United States. Oh shit! What the heck? He was vice president of the United States, and since he's a Rockefeller, yeah, one of the richest people ever. Mm -hmm. That whole family is rich, bro. Yeah, I know. Do you think? Do you think he was like so jealous of his dad that he wanted his own like power since he was always in the shadow? Oh, that's a good like psychological yeah, theory. That, that's, that's a good psychological that's why theory. He's just like, yeah, I want to be the only white person here. Like, yeah. close that shit down. I think what it could have been was like he just wanted to leave his his life of luxury. Maybe because really? because if you think if you grow up if you grow up like Batman, okay. Right, you're Bruce Wayne in the mansion. Like yeah, all, yeah. all you know is luxury, bro. All you know is like caviar and, mm -hmm. and crumpets. Mm -hmm. Feel me? 
how, how are you gonna feel you, you probably want to live a regular life too no but maybe so. maybe he took it to such an extreme yeah because going to like a tribe that's like you have to live off what you have yeah now. you live off it's what like you have not, you don't have no butler anymore giving you food mm-hmm. but I don't, I don't agree with that like if you if you always lived your life of luxury i feel like you would always want that because you'd always if, want it yes because if you're a kid right yeah and you're you're um you're growing up and your brain's still a sponge and you're taking all these things in mm-hmm. that's all you know mm. right so i either you get spoiled more or you just want more you it's just always more Hmm. There's no way. I uh, think unless, unless you're like crazy into like um spirituality, you're not gonna move from the the luxury shit. Listen, listen, listen. But I think because he's such on a high level, he's not just rich, bro. He's yeah, like he's like multi million fam. He's filthy rich. Yeah. I think when you're on that Asian. point, when you're on that point, right? Yeah. You you see other things as like more fun. Like poor shit looks more fun, no? What? Nah, that, that's a crazy statement. Still. Nah, poor listen, shit looks more fun. Listen, bro. Listen, Porsche listen. Be- let's say, let's say you're the richest person in the world, okay. right? You done it all. Like okay. you seen it all. You done all the craziest poor things. Poor shit looks more fun. Don't no. Like this, this is. I know I sound. I might sound yeah. crazy to some people, but if you think about it, if you think about it, let's say you're used to one thing, one mm. side of the spectrum. Yeah. Would you not want to try and see like what the other side is like? Okay, then that goes both ways. A poor person is like, yeah, the rich one is way exactly, more fun. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Just the same as a poor person strives to see what a rich, rich lifestyle is like. Yeah. Maybe a rich person wants to see what that lifestyle is. Mm. Not to say that they would live it, okay, okay. but to like be curious at least. Be curious. Oh, okay, okay. I see where you're going with that then. Mm-hmm. Because I was going to say like the rich people might not see like the poor people just because I feel like poor people are way more happy just because they're happier with what they have, right? Mm. So a, a rich person would see how happy they were. I don't think they would, he would try to assimilate into their lifestyle, but he would be like, I want to be as happy as them. So let me try yeah. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know? I agree. Yeah. I agree. I think that's the same thing. Yeah, I think yeah. that's okay, the same. Okay. That's what it all comes down to. <laughs> Are you ready to get blown away? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sersky. You asked for it and they listen. Manscaped just launched their new ultra smooth package. Your new favorite tool to complement your lawnmower 4.0 to keep your boys smooth while looking and feeling the best. Mm-hmm. This specialized groin shaving kit is here to help you protect, buff, and shave your your most sensitive parts. I love the ultra smooth package and I think it's the perfect add-on for my grooming routine. It's time to crop that bush of yours and start shaving with Manscaped today. In your package, you get the crop gel and with four essential oils, it feels like a spa treatment every single time you use it. Plus, you guys get the crop exfoliator. So this is infused with ingredients that can soothe, clear, and keep the skin on and around your groin feeling refreshed. Plus, this can help reduce the risk of ingrown hairs around your groin area. The crop shaver is not your average razor at all. This was designed for shaving your groin with confidence. It features three super razor sharp precision blades and include extra wide lubricating strips with a pivoting head to give you the best groin shaving experience you can ever get it's time to get up close and personal go to manscape and get the ultra smooth package today so get 20 percent off plus free shipping using our code jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s at manscape.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping with code jumpers j-u-m-p-e-r-s at manscape.com your balls will thank you the link will be downloaded in the description make sure to click that Rollback activewear. Rollback. The best way to describe rollback is best feel and best fit. Mm -hmm. When it comes to quality, rollback takes it to a next level. Their performance polos, Q zips, and hoodies bring a new meaning to the word comfortable. So first, rollback's performance hoodies are a total game changer. They're maybe the softest, stretchiest, comfiest hoodies in the game. So from college athletes to professionals to content creators like us, I promise you, people can't take them off. Second, the performance Q zips are incredibly comfortable perfect for a casual run or a date with your girl they're the definition of versatile third rollbacks performance polos are the only polos we wear <laughs> even if you're not a polo guy these polos make wearing polos cool the material is amazing the prints are fire and the fit is unbeatable so rollback is gaining a lot of traction and we love sporting their two-striped rib in the wild and lucky for us we're in thick spring and summer is quickly approaching and i mean it when i say this this is the most comfortable gear i've ever worn so do yourself a favor get 20 percent off your first order with rollback by using code jumper that's j-u-m-p-e-r 
20% off your first order. Polo, Q-Zip, or hoodies at Roback.com. R-H-O-B-A-C-K. Just in time for the warm weather. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure to click it. Okay, yeah. Yo, um, you didn't you didn't pop into a movie night with us, did you? Oh no, cause I, <laughs> I I wanted to watch what you were yeah. watching, but what? Tell me the movie you're watching, bro. There's another one that I feel like we should all watch. No, okay, listen. Okay, so okay, we okay. did movie night, right? Yeah. <laughs> Dog, this was a mistake, man. What? What happened? This shit was a mistake. So what we watched happened? Tusk. It's an A24 film. Uh, oh, an A24. Yeah. So Fuck, you, I should have been in there. So man. A24. If you don't, if you guys don't know, A24 did Hereditary. Yeah. They did Midsommar. They did Euphoria. They yeah. did a bunch of these like um artsier films, mm. right? Yeah. yeah. Now, I think it's Kevin Smith that, that directed it. But anyways, mm -hmm. the movie, yeah. this is like, I, I'll say this very truthfully. Mm -hmm. This movie might as well be the most like saddening horror movie I've seen. Saddening. Yeah. Okay. Like that shit made you depressed. Like okay, okay. everybody that watched it with us were like, yeah. oh man. Okay, so okay. I'm going to tell the story. Spoiler, if you guys don't want to get spoiled. <laughs> Wait, do you want to? Uh, not to be honest, just say it. I'll just I'm tell not, you. I'll I don't think I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Uh, I won't give too many, like, okay. blatant spoilers, but, like, I'll okay. tell you the premise. Bad, bad, bad. Okay, so, this this movie Tusk, it's about this guy. Oh, this is why I chose it. Listen, oh, yeah. listen, well, listen, happened, listen. Happened, so, I read the synopsis, right? <laughs> okay. The synopsis said, a podcaster and his best friend. No. <laughs> what? Get invited to, to interview this guy, right? Yeah. So a podcaster and his best friend that are doing a podcast. Oh, this I think this is why it hit me so hard oh, because God, I, I was like I was like living <laughs> I was living him. Feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah. I knew exactly how I was feeling. Yeah, yeah, bro. This shit, this shit actually made me sad, man. Okay, what happened? So podcaster and his friend get invited to to um, interview this guy. Okay. Now they're making fun of this this guy like a. He's like a viral person, right? Yeah, yeah. Imagine somebody goes viral doing something stupid. Mm -hmm. So they they get invited to go interview him yeah. turns out he committed suicide before they could do it okay right now the podcast is like oh man i don't have content no more like how am yeah. i gonna get content so he goes to the bar he takes a piss and he sees like this this sign okay and it has like tabs for rental yeah. for like a room okay right so it's like oh wait a minute he's reading it and it it tells this life story of this guy that's stuck to a, a wheelchair and he's lived like um a very fantastic life through the war yeah, or whatever yeah. right yeah, yeah which is why he's stuck in a wheelchair mm -hmm. now he goes and like okay you know what i need some content i'm yeah. gonna interview this guy see what his stories are like see what his life was like mm, okay instead of interviewing the other guy yeah, yeah so he goes there bro what happened he goes there and this guy, he tells him this story, his life story, how he was in the war, mm -hmm. how um, he was stuck at sea for like a year. Yeah. Like What's with all year. these uh, the sea? Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, but so he was stuck at sea, right? Yeah. And he had this special connection because the animal that saved his life was a what? Was a walrus. Okay. So for some reason, bro, he like praised walruses. Yeah. And... This is where it gets fucked up, bro. But like, <laughs> I was going to say throw back to the, uh, what's the walrus Obey video? the walrus. Obey the walrus. Nah, this is where it gets messed up. Because yeah. he's he's not right in the head. This old guy's not right in the head. He's yeah. in a wheelchair, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And his plan. Yeah. He's having this interview with, this, with the podcaster, right? Okay. He gives him some tea. All of a sudden. Oh, my. Boom, gets yeah. knocked out. Okay. Passed out, right? Yeah. This guy's passed out. He uh -huh. wakes up in his own wheelchair now. Yeah. The podcaster wakes up in his wheelchair and he sees the guy. Oh shit, Siri. Oh my God. So <laughs> you got scared? I was like, what the fuck? All right, right, listen, 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 hold on. So, so he wakes up in his wheelchair yeah. and he sees the the old guy coming towards him. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, um, you had a spider on your leg and yeah. it's like a very poisonous spider. Okay. It bit you on your leg. And then he's like, oh, that's why I passed out. He's like, yeah, that's why you passed out. Yeah. He, he takes off the blanket. What happens? And his leg is gone. Oh, no. His leg is gone. Yeah. They cut it off. Okay. Amputated. Yeah. He doesn't have a leg anymore. Yeah. And he's freaking out, right? Okay. He's alone in his cabin with this old guy okay. missing a leg now. Uh-huh. And what happens, bro, this old guy, he tells him his plan. Like, I, I guess he, the podcaster, he like catches on like, yeah. this, this isn't right. Like, what are you doing to me? Like, yeah. this, this is, stop playing these games. Like, what is going on here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he tells him his, his whole like plan. 
Uh-huh. His plan was, he wants to make a human walrus. Ew. To live with him. Ew. So he t- he's taking body parts of other people. So he's a serial killer. Oh no, nah, man! Listen, what's crazy? He stands up. He's not even confined to a wheelchair, bro. Yeah. This old guy wasn't even. He he was playing that whole role. He wasn't just, even just to bait him. Just to bait him in. Just to bait him. So now this guy, this podcaster, okay, missing a leg. The guy drugged him, and he can't even move his body anymore. All he can do is like talk and look at him. Yeah, yeah. So he's literally like paralyzed now and he was telling him all these things how mm-hmm. how he loved the walrus that saved his life yeah and he, he wants wanted. to pay homage to that walrus oh. and turn him into <laughs> a walrus gross. right so he killed like a bunch of people he's a serial killer yeah. and he has like skin on skin on skin body parts on body parts yeah sold it to him okay sold it to his body and made this like creature that looks like a wall literally looks like a walrus yeah. and his face the podcaster's face uh-huh. Bro, what's so sad, man? Ew. What's so sad? They took out his tongue. He took out his tongue, right? <laughs> so so the only way he can communicate... Oh, so he took out his tongue yeah. and they put like, you know, his shins yeah. as walrus tusks Ew, in his bro. face, bro. Ew, now, bro. now, this is so sad, bro. Like his whole life changed mm-hmm. and... They took out his tongue. He can't even... He's a podcast. He doesn't have a tongue anymore. Yeah. And the only thing that he can do is speak like... Uh, so he sounds like the, a walrus. The podcaster? The podcaster? The podcaster. So he sounds like a walrus. That's gross, fam. I don't want to spoil what, anything else yeah, that happens in the you movie. Spoiled, you spoiled a lot already. No, that's like... That's just one part. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. much... There's so much sadder shit in the movie that I won't spoil because I know okay. a lot of people want to okay. watch it. Was this based in Japan? Because there's there's a story that's very similar. In Japan? Yeah, in nah, Japan. Nah, it's not based... In, it's not based on a true story. Okay, okay. But I think like... um. Like the story of that guy in the wheelchair being mm-hmm. a serial killer yeah. is is okay, like yeah. inspired. Okay, yeah, because uh, the cutting of the body and shit. Yeah, there's a story in Japan where um I think a girl was walking through a train station mm. and accidentally fell, and then an oncoming train cut her body in half. Oh my god! Right, so I think her name is Kashimo Reko. Yeah, something like that. But now it's like she's a cursed thing at train stations. So in the dark. Right, she'll lurk you in the train station, and you know how like it, half of body, and you know how it's only half of your body. Yeah. So if you see her, she she'll move only with her elbows and her arms. Oh my god! And if you see her in the corner of her eye, she'll yeah. come and chase you, right? The and the only way to tell to to get her from stop chasing you, yeah, is to to tell her where her legs are. But oh at the same time, god. at the same what time, the it's hell? like you don't know where her legs are. So at the like you're cursed forever. Right and and uh, going to um hold on uh the legend has it yeah yeah, is like yeah. once the storyteller tells tells the story mm-hmm. you have one month until she comes after you well, after who after you me yeah you can't catch me lacking are you crazy <laughs> you 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 you, you, you catch me lacking nah bro you see this shit come <laughs> just, on bro just because you have an eye come on like, now under your necklace under y'all can't doesn't mean- y'all can't catch me lacking no more I'm sorry. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. You had your chance. You had your chance. No, I'm I'm protected, dog. There's no way that you think that. Lo- Did you buy that from Amazon? On Amazon. Evil Hell eye? yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I bought that shit from Amazon. <laughs> I bought a pack of them too. I have seven of them. Oh, can I have one? I don't know. <laughs> what do you I don't mean? know. You you you. This guy cursed me. Now he's <laughs> asking for one himself. Nah. To be honest, I think that shit only happens if you're in Japan. Like if you tell that story in Japan. What if I'm part Japanese? Oh, then it <laughs> it's like look, the lights come over and like she's coming at you. Oh my god, that's so fucked. Only have like Japanese yeah, blood, yeah. you can see the ghost. Oh my gosh, man! I'm pretty sure there's some ghost stories where mm. the spirits only haunt like members of that family. Mm. So I believe like um, fuck, I forgot the exact story, but there's yeah. this there's this house in the states, right? Okay, and they had beef with this family. It's like uh, do you remember the the half fields in McCoy? It's oh yeah, yeah. It's very similar to that. It's very similar to that yeah. where there's like a family beef mm-hmm. and one family like their whole life yeah. hated the other family. Mm-hmm. Almost like a Romeo and Juliet, Capulets and uh Montague thing, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, there's a story of this woman that she went to go visit this cottage, this super old cottage, right? Mm-hmm. And I guess what happened was she was being haunted only her yeah. because she was attached to the family name of the opposing family. Yeah. See, that, that's when it gets fucked because how are you going to stop it? Mm-hmm. A, lo- a lot of these ghost games that I read about always has like a trigger word to stop it. 
Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. But but stuff like that's like fa- in the deep family relationship. Mm-hmm. How how are you gonna do it? Yeah, that's kind of like um, you know, the Winchester house. Yes. Yeah, I said this before on the on Dino's yeah. episode, but the Winchester the Winchester house is the exact same where. She was the the granddaughter of man. I forgot his name, but yeah. Winchester, mm-hmm. the Winchester family. They made the guns. Yeah, right. So the story goes that she is being haunted by every single person okay. that Winchester guns have killed. Yeah, but it kind of makes sense. Like, uh-huh. imagine, imagine in the spirit world, right? Yeah. If you're gonna get revenge on somebody, who are you gonna revenge on? Me, me specifically. Like it, uh, well, at least in that case, that was that was theirs. Like, yeah. I'm gonna get revenge on the people that made these guns. Like, you you yeah. you massacred all these people because you made that. Yeah, true. In, in the window game, how you were telling it, mm-hmm. it's it's one of those ones where you try to summon something, but then they they don't stop chasing you, right? Ah, I, I I forgot. I okay. forgot. Okay, yeah, because I have another one where it's um it's called the bath game, right? The bath game. Have you ever heard of this? Nah, I haven't. So so this is how you summon a ghost. But mm. at the same time, you have to try and stop it from chasing you. Yeah. So this is how you play the game. So you turn off all the lights mm-hmm. and you're in the washroom and you take a bath with no lights on. Yeah. Right. And then you slowly wash your face. And I think here. Bro, I can't do that. No, man. trust me. Trust if, me. If, 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 I wa- if I take a shower or something, I'm always like, I'm looking <laughs> around. Like the moment I close my eyes, the moment I close my eyes, yeah. I'm like, I wash my hair. Yeah. Like I want to open my eyes right away because I'm not trying to like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so this is this is the exact thing. So when you wash your hair, you have to say, Daruma-san fell down, right? And oh, it's what, a Japanese game? Yes, of course. I have Dali a lot of Japanese, Japanese games, me, man. They're crazy. And then once you, once you do that, you'll feel a presence while you're laying your eyes up in the washroom. Yeah. And you'll feel a presence. Once you feel that presence... You get up and you and you sleep, right? But you leave the water and the bath like like there. Mm-hmm. You don't flush it. Mm-hmm. And the next morning, that's when the game begins, because that's when a creature or like a the demon will crawl out of the bathtub oh. and start following you everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. And every every second of the day, she'll yeah. get closer and closer. And once you feel her presence on the like over your your shoulder, yeah, you have to say kidder. Which means I got you, you lose, and that's when the game ends. So it's like it's like Yo. if you if you don't. Yo, who's it, behind you? Got his ass. <laughs> See how fast my reaction is. You feel you can't catch me like it. Also, I don't need that. I don't need that. You feel me? I know this the trigger. Prep, this guy's prepped. <laughs> I know the trigger. He, he read the story and he studied it, man. This guy studied like nobody's catching me. Fast. Nobody's catching me. I said, kidder. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm gonna pull a prank on you though. I'm gonna yeah. put somebody in that washroom and it's just gonna scare you. <laughs> oh my god, no, no, that's weird. That's gonna pop out right wait, behind wait. you. Hold on, I wanna see I wanna show you too a picture of um uh like a candy bar. A candy bar, why? H- have you seen this before at like um Actually I think I've seen that yeah, like you know, Asian stores. You know, so this girl is called Pika Chan. Mm. And he's all. She's always accompanied by a boy, which is I think Pico Chan. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So this girl actually has a really like dark story, right? Mm. So in the in World War Two, where everyone didn't have a lot of things to eat. Yeah. She, her and her so Pico Chan and her mom was also this case, mm. right? And her mom felt so bad that. She cut her arm off one day and fed it to Pico Chan because that was that oh was because the they were only, starving. That was the only food they had, right? Yeah. And then so that's why, if you see it, there's a slogan on Milky which says, "So Milky, it's Mom's taste." Whoa! And you see, listen, listen. You see how her tongue yeah. is always licking her cheek. That's her tasting her mom on her cheek. That's why your cheeks are red because it's exactly. the blood. Yeah. You don't see Pico Chan in this, but he has a blue, he has a blue hat, right? Yeah. And he wears this because Pico Chan was trying to eat his skull. So that cap is protecting him. Yo. <laughs> what the Yeah. Fuck? There's some mad lore I about know. that shit. No, no, I, I was so surprised because I've seen this in, yeah, yeah, in yeah. like candies before. You it reminds me of, you know, the, the Pinoy snacks, the, the Jack and Jill. Oh yeah, I thought it, like like, it always looks creepy though. It always looks creepy, yeah. man. What's what's your favorite like uh, Jack and Jill snack? Jack and Jill. Snack. You, have you ever had Have you ever had the um, the chocolate pretzels? Okay, those are always good, but I feel like there's something better. I'm just forgetting. No, listen, listen, listen. Okay. So so you know those um there's like an offshoot of it. Yeah. The chocolate pretzels, the Jack and Jill, the the Filipino one. Yeah. Now there's an offshoot of it. I think it's a Japanese version. Oh, but, it's always Japanese. But 
They're mushrooms. <laughs> no way. Yeah, what? bro. You seen those? The, the, uh, you seen those? Cho- it's like it's like um uh chocolate on the top and then yeah. like a stick. Yo, I yeah. seen that before. It's the same thing. I seen bro. that before. That's crazy, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Is there lore about that? It's like, oh, if you take this, you become more sp- uh what do you call this? Spiritual and stuff like that. <laughs> you get woken, you get yeah. woken. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah. But there's some there's always been some like crazy stuff about mushrooms. I feel like yeah. any time we see mushrooms in media, mm-hmm. It's it's connected to psychedelics, yeah. Automatically, because mm-hmm. I feel like you don't even see mushrooms in the wild that often either, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Now, when you see it, it's connected to psychedelics. So I feel like every piece of media, whether it be like um Super Mario Bros. or mushrooms, mm-hmm. yeah. Whether it be like literally anything, yeah. Even if you look at look at some um, rapper Travis Scott when he had his uh, Dior show, yeah. He had the huge mushrooms on the big thing, bro. I know. I know. Maybe it's getting normalized. But whenever I see mushrooms, like it's always connected to some person having like a a breakdown. You know that that really the the guy who's in public and he's like, oh, can I get your number? And then he's like, he takes off his shirt. Oh, David Laid, right? Is that his name? the, the, The muscular guy. I think that's his name, David something, right? Yeah, but he's always taking his shirt off and asking girls for his for the number. I know what happened to him. I know where is his name, David. Is it this guy? Look, look. Let me see. This guy, no? David Lade. No, it's somebody That's else. Not him? It's somebody else. Fuck. It is this guy. No, no, it's different. I, let me see, let me see. It is this he's guy. Not he's not, no, that's Yes, he is a YouTuber. Yes, let me see. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, bro. I think that's him, no? Is it? No, I don't think so. He looks... He looks different. Oh, maybe somebody else. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe my bad. My yeah, but but you guys just comment down below since I, I don't remember the name. Yeah, but we don't want to like, get it wrong. Don't want to accuse nobody. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> but he was like, uh, his best friend was talking in an interview. He's like, yo, he took shrooms once and the, it panned to a video of him. He's like, guys, come in. Like, he's totally different. Damn. Like, he's he's perma, like, shroomed. That's crazy. He's That's perma shroomed, fam. I think, I think Mike Tyson's the same thing. Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson still has like some sense into him, like like he has he runs a podcast, but like he's very like no but, grounded. But all everybody that that has has done shrooms, they all seem like they have some sense to them. Really, it's not it's not that they don't have sense to them. It's just like that guy just to- was like totally out of it. Oh, he was like gone. Yeah, maybe he was high at that time. I don't know, man. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. I don't man. think it's necessarily like you lose like a part of your brain. If mm-hmm. anything, you just. You just think differently with the same information that you have. Yeah. That's what I think it is. Okay. Yeah. I've never done it, so I, I, mm-hmm. for me, I can't. I think, I think imagine like, um, let's say, let's say you, you learned everything in your life, right? Yeah. And then certain things you didn't realize mattered. Mm-hmm. I think that's what happens is where you check those boxes like, oh, this means this, this means this, this yeah. means that. I think that's what it is. Okay. But that's any, like, even if you do meditation, yeah. any like, um, sp- even if you're praying, like if, yeah. If you do like spiritual meditation or if you mm-hmm. pray, like you'll be able to uncover things in your mind that you haven't like thought about. Yeah. Yes. Even just daydreaming. Daydreaming is a big one. Facts, facts. Spe- speaking of that, like there was a video I seen on TikTok where it was about um quantum jumping. Quantum jumping. Yeah, you don't know what that is. What is this? I think it's like um it's kind of like uh what do you call this? Uh shifting. You know uh Oh, like astral projection. Like astral projection. Yeah. But it's like manifestation to a, another level so you would you would use the frequencies to reach that higher level right so a yeah. girl a girl was like oh i'm gonna quantum jump to in my sleep today and it's really you take like super f- focus yeah and she was like uh, i'm gonna jump to a next dimension where i have a mole on my knee what right the so why so, so specific yeah so she just wanted to test it mm-hmm. right so before she went to sleep she took a picture and there was no mole on her leg mm-hmm. right she did the quantum jump I guess hopped into the another dimension. The morning after, there was a mole on her no. leg. It's like she she manifested. She manifested it. Yeah, that. That's crazy. I think that's real though. Yeah, no, quantum jumping is scary. And like astral projection, I never want to get into that shit. Mm, I did astral projection recently, actually. I hate that credit card companies charge crazy high interest rates, and so does Upstart. It can be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel when you have high interest debt. And sometimes it can be even harder to ask for help. That's where Upstart comes in. Mm -hmm. Saying goodbye to the high interest credit card debt is one of the first steps towards financial independence. That's where Upstart comes in. Upstart powered personal loans can help you pay down the high interest debt 
all online with simple and easy to understand payment terms. Upstart has helped over 1.8 million customers on their path to financial freedom. So Upstart knows you're more than just your credit score. So rather than looking at your credit score alone, Upstart's models considers other factors like your income, employment, and other information provided in your loan application. So they'll find you a smarter rate for your loan. So you can check your rate in minutes for loans between $1,000 to $50,000 without impacting your credit score. So don't wait and check your rate today at upstart.com slash jumpers. That's upstart.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, to check your rate today. Don't forget to use our URL and let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined on your credit, income, and other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash jumpers, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. The link will be down below in the description. Make sure to click that. Recently? Yeah, recently. Holy smokes. Because I told you, I told you I've been trying it, right? And yeah. I've been practicing. I haven't done it in a long time just because like I got scared. Yeah. <laughs> but, but recently I did. How was uh, the experience, brother? <laughs> it's, it's so real. Okay. It's like, you hear this stuff, right? And it sounds like, oh, this is some bullshit. Like, yeah. what, is, what is this guy talking about, right? Mm. Nah, that shit's like real. Mm. If, if not, if not exactly like um, going to a different dimension, at least like unlocking vivid dreams or what's okay. what's it called uh, uh, lucid, lucid, dreams. lucid yeah, dreams lucid dreams yeah and i really did unlock a lucid dream like yeah i woke up in my bed yeah woke up oh no this is how you do it wow, I'm, right. I'm gonna teach y'all how to do it okay so if you want to if you want to astral project y'all like <laughs> pretty much what you do <laughs> you have to be like sleepy yeah and falling asleep but still aware at the same time okay. so so it's like uh sleep deprivation you're sleep depriving it's kind of like that it's okay. kind of like that yeah but what happened was I woke up early and I'm like, oh, I woke up early. And you know those times where you woke up early and then you want to go back to sleep? Uh -huh. Those are the best moments you can actually access this. Okay. That's what I found at least. Yeah. So I'm falling asleep, falling asleep, but I'm still aware. Mm. Right? I'm still aware. And I'm slowly drifting away. Yeah. And right, I know exactly the timing is why I'm able to do it. Yeah. But right when you click into dream mode, you want to lift yourself out of your body, like your physical self. Mm, okay. And your soul is like, I know it sounds so crazy, but like you want to like take your, literally take your, your spiritual self out of your physical self. Okay. So I jump out and then I wake up and right when I wake up, no, like I wake up in this world. Yeah. I see everything is a little bit more vivid. It's like super bright. This is how I know I did it properly. I look at my hand and I, I go like this and it feels just like real life. Wait, so like. So like you you turned around and saw yourself sleeping type shit? No, I didn't see my body itself. Okay, but <clears throat> I woke up. Oh shit! So I and, but look, this <laughs> is why it's so weird to me because it feels real. Like I'm yeah. I'm able to do this and yeah. like I'm like looking at myself. I'm walking around my room. It's yeah. literally the exact same room. I'm uh, like playing with shit. Yeah. And then when I want to wake up, I just wake up. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's really trippy too? Yeah. I don't know if you have these, but you'll sleep on your arm, right? Mm -hmm. And then it'll be so numb when you wake up and you're like trying to move. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the funny thing because I always do this. Uh, the blood flow hasn't gone to my fingers yet, right? Mm -hmm. Or it's still like lagging, I call it. Yeah. Right? So I'll try to move my hands, but it'll move like two seconds later. Oh, really? You don't have those? I, n I don't think I lost blood like that crazy. No, no, no. Like, like you've never had those? So no, like, I had like a static yeah. arm before. Like. Yeah, yeah, no, but you'll wake up and I'll try to move it, right? Yeah. But it'll move it two seconds after I tell it to move because the blood flow finally, like, connected. oh, finally reached it. Yeah, reached it finally it. reached yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That, happen that happens if you get a tattoo and you leave your arm for too long. Oh, yeah? And then, like, you can't move your I literally, like, my arm was paralyzed. Word. <laughs> yeah. Word. What's, what's the longest you've gone without sleeping? Without sleeping? I, yeah. I can't recall. Okay. I honestly can't recall. Because yeah. I've heard um uh CS majors, like computer science majors, yeah. they don't sleep like exam times. Mm. Like they're they're uh they go seventy two hours. Straight, I feel like at that coffee. point you can't even remember shit though. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you're just kicking yourself in the butt yeah. if you do that. I know. And ha have you heard of the, the Russian sleep experiment? I heard some. Yeah. I heard some. So so I think they took five prisoners, right? Mm -hmm. And they told them they were forced to stay awake for I think 30 days. Yeah. And and they gave them medicine every 6 hours and always um gave them cold showers to keep them awake. Mm -hmm. But after the 6th day I think, they got so like like out of their body crazy mm. and they started screaming that one person ripped out their vocal cords cuz she couldn't handle it mm. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It and was wild. they they placed some of them in complete darkness. 
Oh, that's that's fucked. That's like some fucked, of them man. they kept in like complete darkness. That's some of them fucked. they kept like they had different rooms, right? Mm-hmm. One room is just like a regular room. Another one's like no light, no nothing. Yeah. And then the one person like they fed well. One person they didn't feed well. Oh yeah. What yeah. happened to the person that like, they fed well? I feel like if you I don't if know, you're man. at that state, you don't want more food because it'll take you it'll take you to like out of it. But then you're still kind of woozy. Mm. I feel like if you're, you're just gonna sleep deprive me, sleep sleep deprive me all the way. Sleep deprive you all the way. Yeah, God. Like I feel like I could, I could come out some sense. Like I don't know. God I don't know. damn. I feel like you would just adapt to the the sleep deprivation. I don't think. I don't you think do. you can. I don't yes? think you can, bro. Have you heard of like there's um there's a method that I think William Shakespeare he used to sleep like this. Okay. So he used to only sleep like two hours a day, but he damn. would make it work. Damn. So I think he would sleep. No, my bad. Sorry. It's like four hours a day. Mm-hmm. No, it is two hours a day. Holy shit. It was what two hours happened? a day. So he would take like mini naps throughout the day. Okay. But in total, it's only two hours. Oh, so mini naps? Yeah, he no, would I take like, mini naps. But yeah. in total, it's like two hours. To be honest, I feel like naps are very essential though. Because mm-hmm. after after um high school, you, your body starts getting like older. You know, you need more rest. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a nap in like the middle of the day is very beneficial for you. Oh, yo, if you're still in high school, yeah, please nap. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Drink milk, then take a nap. <laughs> and y'all will grow taller. I promise you guys, <laughs> y'all will grow taller. I used to drink milk, then nap. Yeah. Boom. All of a sudden, I'm taller, bro. I used to be what? I used to be average Filipino height. Yeah. Now I'm pushing like taller Filipino <laughs> you're levels. Five ten, fam. Aren't you? Yeah, but like yeah. taller Filipino levels, like at least five eight. Yeah. <laughs> No, you get me? That's you get true. me? That's true. Like, we, like oh. we're, we're usually like they're like what five, five, five seven, five, five six. seven, yeah. five six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. True, true. But yeah, I, I know if you could, if you want to speed up too. Uh, You're five the, nine, right? Yeah, five nine, five ten. Push yeah, yeah, five yeah, yeah, ten. Yeah, yeah, like five nine, like, half. yeah. I feel like five eleven is a myth. <laughs> 5'11 is a myth. Yeah, like like people say they're 5'11, but they're really just five ten, or they're they're higher. Like there's no in between. Mm. Do you think you can still grow? Right now? Doug, I'm not gonna lie. I, I swear to God, I grew. I swear to God, I grew. <laughs> I swear to God. Look, stand up right now. Okay, stand up okay, right okay. now. Tell me if I grew. Kind of. I kind of grew, right? Look, like, even if I. Yeah. I kind of grew a little bit. Look, I, I'm nice. I, but, yeah, but you're still drinking milk, right? You're still avid no, milk. No, listen, drinker. listen. I stopped drinking milk. Oh, really? I stopped drinking milk, but. To be but, honest, I'm surprised I haven't grown because I usually nap. So listen, much. listen, listen. Yeah. Listen. Cause I know you clown all the time, bro. Okay, strawberry milk. No, 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 no. Okay. Listen, that too. Okay. Y'all sleeping on strawberry milk. Nah, Anyways, that's whack. beside the point. That's besides the point. I low key been manifesting my height <laughs> just to try, just yeah, to try. Cause nah, listen, nah. listen. I want to see how far I can take my manifestation levels. Right, feel me? Yeah. So I'm like, I might as well try that. <laughs> right. That, that's something light. That's something light. Yeah, I don't yeah. have to think too hard about. Yeah. And I think I grew a little bit, bro. <laughs> Whether it just even be like my spine like expanding uh-huh. more, yeah. or just fixing my posture, because yeah, my, my posture has been changing. Yeah, I still slouch on on camera just because I want to be yeah. like close in. Facts, facts. But <clears throat> I promise you, I've been manifesting my height. <laughs> maybe maybe you'll see me. Maybe you'll see me in a couple of days. Like shit, so, seven so. foot. No, if you do that, that's crazy. Because I remember, I remember, I had <laughs> remember the Plinko card I had. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was doing the numbers. So I, it was like a lottery card, and I was scratching the numbers. And the oh, and then, I remember right, that. Right, Tell the, the story. story. <laughs> Tell the story. So we were at Gavin ra- doesn't believe, man. <laughs> so we were at a Raptors game, right? Yeah. And I, you know those people. Leafs, Maple Leafs. Shout out yeah, TikTok. Yeah, shout out TikTok. And at the the exit, there was a person ha- handing out Plinko cards. So you would scratch out the cards, and there would be like number thirty five and thirty six is like the, the lucky numbers you get. Mm-hmm. I was scratching. I was scratching it, and then Carlos wasn't with me then, he, or he wasn't really like f- locked in with me. Yeah. And then on the last one, before like halfway before I scratched it, he's like, "Oh, that's number thirty six, right?" And no, like, you asked me. You asked me. Oh, you, you think I'm gonna? You think I'm gonna get these last oh, two numbers? Oh yeah. He's like, yeah. And then he was like, "No, nah, I'll manifest it for you right now." It's like that's gonna be a thirty six. No, I told you. I told you. You you didn't get thirty five, but yeah. you did get thirty six. That's exactly yeah. oh, what I told yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So I scratched it. I, I was like, oh, it's 36. Yeah, I like, like I knew it. I like the colors. Like, yeah, I knew it, bro. I'm like, shut the <laughs> No, like dead ass. Like, I knew it. Up, bro. But yeah. It's fam, it's not, it's not no joke. Like, I actually know these things. <laughs> that shit was lucky. Like, dead ass. Like, dead nah, ass. That shit was lucky. That shit was lucky. Fam, it, there's no such thing as luck when it comes to me. <laughs> I promise you. You know you know what I did, too? To, to try out my friends? Mm. You know that uh, green arrow, the advanced arrow on the left? 
what uh, the the turning signal? yeah the turning low so so you'll get a a four four traffic light yeah and then red and then the green arrow yeah 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 bottom, right so me and my friend she's like oh there's there's hella traffic and i was like oh yeah but watch this i'm gonna manifest a green arrow <laughs> so i started going huh? <laughs> and, then, and then she's like what the fuck are you doing i'm like hmm? and then there was a green arrow. <laughs> i was like what i said what i tell you swerve <laughs> but i mean it's gonna come up anyway <laughs> But that was that was, one, but that was that was one of the ones where it's like I was just joking around yeah, so, yeah, yeah. about manifestation because she, she didn't believe it. She did, yeah, some people don't believe it, man. John's one of my biggest haters when it comes to manifestation. Oh, yeah. No, because John's so logical. John yeah. is probably the most logical person you'll ever meet in your life. But bro, this is the thing. Like even even manifestation, I think it is a logical thing. Yeah. It is a logical thing, but you just have to be open minded enough to understand how it could be logical. Yeah, the manifestation. There is no manifestation with hard work, though. You have to realize that. So without hard work, yes, without hard work, because yeah. you know you can't just say all oh, this was manifestation because we worked for this. You feel me? No, we no, no. You work. you have to be man. Manifestation is, is just the um, just the frequency you want to be on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. to do the steps is, itself is I a whole it, yeah. different thing. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was very love attraction person mm -hmm. and. Before this whole podcast, I will, I've always wanted to be like, oh, I want this cloud. I want this fame somehow. Yeah. And it came to me. You mm -hmm. feel me? So that I guess I just manifested it that way. Yeah. You feel me? Whatever you want, we'll get, we'll get you attracted to. Yeah. But, but it's a lot of, um, look, 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 if, mm -hmm. if, if you, if you believe so hard on something, no matter what it is, mm -hmm. somehow it's gonna, it's gonna be a thing. It'll be yeah. physical. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it. It's like yeah. super... It doesn't make sense anymore now. Yeah. Like the way I understand it won't make sense anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, the first sound that really blew up on TikTok. Yeah. The guy who created it was like, um, oh, yeah, I, I wanted I, I was like law of attraction. I want this clout and fame so hard. Mm. He tried 729 times. He created all those sounds and one got viral. Right. Mm. And that was the the oops. My heart went da, 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 man, these loops. You oh, yeah, that? yeah. That was That's OG. old. That's, That's old, OG. yeah. But yeah, that after 700 tries, it finally worked. Damn. But he, but he kept pushing. So yeah, 700 to, tries. Yeah. He could have manifested a little bit better still. <laughs> <laughs> chill, man. You know why it works for us? Because I'm kidding. Whoa. Chill, 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 chill. chill. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, 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 no. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Recently. Yeah, yeah. So remember I, I told you those things about the moles? Oh, like um, well, if your if your sister's gonna make yeah, you yeah, money, yeah. stuff like that. If if you have like a mole on your fingers, okay. Remember, I only had this one. You grew another one. Another one just appeared. What? You see that? Yeah. So I looked into it. What it said? Yeah. What? And it's it pretty much just said like it sounds so cocky, but it it, it literally just means like you're really good at what you do, oh, and word. you'll continue to be successful uh, through on it. your pinky. Yeah. What the fuck? It means like you'll you'll be con you'll continue to be successful at what you do because you're really good at it. That's what yeah. it means. I don't know. I don't know if this is real, but like there's a thing where um I seen it on TikTok too. Yeah. Where on your on your bottom nail, like your toe, and there's like um a random bruise or different coloring. Mm. It was like, oh, that's a sign that in the future you'll have cancer or something like that. Whoa. Right? And everyone in the comments was panicking. Yeah. Because people were like, what the fuck? I have brown on my toe. On my toe. What's gonna happen? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. But I feel like No, nah, no, all of it like it's not yeah. more times this shit's not true. Yeah, more more, more times, more times it's like, oh, it's just a color disfiguration, like something yeah. something different. Like you'll bruise your your thing. But yeah, more times it's just not really Exactly. It's just a it's just like a superstition type of thing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you're you're the one that makes it real if you want it to yes. be real type of thing. Uh, Bro. Right. So honestly, like for example, this shit mm -hmm. is that really protecting you, or is it just your mind saying that? I think it's it's both. It's like a little bit of both now. Yeah. Just because, just because, um, because remember I did the egg cleanse, bro. I I, I yeah, swear I to that egg cleanse, like that's real, bro. I still have to do that. I still have to. Like do I'm that. not capping. Like that shit was real. Like yeah. I I on my grave that shit was real. Yeah, yeah. I believe it. I believe it. Now. If there's ways I can like prevent that stuff from happening, yeah, yeah, man, shit, why not try? I know, yeah, me, true. Because like on our on our shorts channel, you see a lot of negative hate. Mm. You feel me? It's just like, oh, these guys are fucking delusional, delusional. You feel me? That's where all the hate comes from. On the main channel, though, there's like no hate. Yeah, that's right. Which, which that. doesn't make any sense. Yeah, but yeah. Um, you know, you know, Tom Brady. Did we talk about Tom Brady before? Tom Brady, nah. Yo, we what never happened? talked about Tom Brady. What, what happened? Tom Brady, right? Uh huh. How many championships he's won? Uh, How many Super Bowls? I think seven, right? Like seven, something like he, that. Yeah, he has a picture like this. Anyways, he's the GOAT. Yeah, GOAT. Everybody knows he's the GOAT. Mm -hmm. 
his wife what happened is a witch what did you know that no i didn't know that. yeah his wife is a witch and tom brady had an interview right okay and they're asking him all these things like oh what does what does your wife do for you like um like pre-game yeah you know i mean like what do you have any like superstitions blah blah uh-huh. dog his wife is an actual witch now she he pretty much said she does like a bunch of manifestations for him yeah, yeah. also gives him like mantras and there's other rituals that he didn't want to talk about oh but no nah. every single time mm-hmm. right he said he credited his wins to his wife because of what she was doing Whoa. and if you t- if you really think about it bro yeah. seven super bowls I know Tom Brady. Come on, how old is yeah. the guy? He's like he's getting he's older. Old, still, fam. yeah, he's not moving a lot too. Yeah, <laughs> some people say he's not even that uh, that athletic, but yeah, I think the fact that he has her in her back corner, who knows? Yeah. So what is that? Uh, I need to get a witch on my roster. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> no, but that, that the, I think the closest thing that comes to that is Kyrie Irving. I don't Kyrie. Know, yeah, but, oh, crazy person. You feel me? Already, he's weird in general. Yeah. But before um. Uh, the game in Boston, he was a Brooklyn net, right? Yeah. And that was his former team. Before before he he was burning sage, right? No way. He, you didn't see this? I don't remember. So, so in the Celtic Center, yeah. the, uh, he was burning sage and he was talking to the reporter. He's like, yeah, I know they hate me because I switched teams. Mm. I want to get all the negative energy out. And they asked uh, KD, he's like, you see Kyrie over there? What is he doing? He's like... That's him, man. <laughs> like, he, he probably burned sage before in his room before he plays 2K or some shit. <laughs> but but like Kyrie, before he comes to games, he walks yeah. with a stick. Have you have you seen that? Oh yeah, I think I see that. He actually. walks with a stick. I think I seen that. Yeah, he's yeah, very, yeah. He's very spiritual, very religious. That's why mm-hmm. he's like talking all this like, oh, the Earth is flat stuff like that. He's a he's a crazy like he's a cool person. That's the like, problem because a lot of people like you'll you'll hear these things yeah. and it just sounds so stupid. Yeah, and yeah, it's it's true. Like you should be like skeptical. Yeah, like you shouldn't believe everything you hear. Hundred yeah. percent. Don't exactly. even believe what we say exactly. all the time. Like try and look into yourself. Exactly. What we say too. Exactly. But being open-minded or at least being able to entertain and decipher for yourself is a very important trait. Yeah. I think that's the most important trait is where I can have a conversation with anybody, mm-hmm. no bias. It could be somebody that most people would hate mm-hmm. and I'll still give the chance to try and see where they're coming from. That's what I pride myself in. No, for sure. Right. And yeah, me too. Cause I'm like, I, I've come to see how adapt, how um like my skill and adaptability has become because mm-hmm. I've been talking to like different groups now. Mm-hmm. I've been uh what do you call this? Uh, given the opportunity to talk to like oh uh people who are into anime, people who are into different stuff, mm-hmm. right? And I've always had a good conversation with them. You yeah, know what I mean? so yeah. it's like the power of talking is very, very fucking like it's very important. It's very important. Yeah. It's very important. It's very powerful too. Yeah. No matter what you do in life, if that shit comes through your mouth, feel me? No yeah. homo. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> there, there was also a superstition where um, you remember Jamal Murray in the bubble. Jamal Murray in the bubble. I think I heard a story about him. Yeah, what, so, what is it? So, so the whole thing was um, in the bubble. You're not allowed to bring your wife, your spouse, your girlfriend, no one. Yeah, you're in the room. <gasps> oh, by I yourself. remember. I remember. By, by yourself. <laughs> so Jamal Murray yeah. started. After accusations of his girl coming into his room mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and staying with him, mm-hmm. he started playing amazing, like dropping triple doubles, double doubles, <laughs> scoring 40 points in a game. He yeah. led Denver to the finals, I think, that year, mm-hmm. right? And everyone's saying, shout out, he should credit all his wins to his girlfriend <laughs> giving him that good Yo. fucking shit in the hotel room. <laughs> Yo, but I think, wait, was it him? Yes, it was him. Jamal wait, Murray. Jamal I heard Murray. a different story. Who? I heard a different story. I heard that the the girl that was coming to his rooms, they found out wasn't his girl and was like the what? and was like one of the cleaning ladies. What? Yeah, and no, he was that dealing, and that's how they caught him cheating. Am I am I wrong? Jamal Murray? Am I living in a Mandela effect right now? <laughs> I don't know if it's him. I don't want to. I don't want to yeah. act. Uh, I don't want to like false accusation anybody. Yeah, you know yeah. What I mean, no, I remember that story too, but I don't know if it was Jamal Murray. And maybe it was somebody else. Maybe it was yeah. somebody else. Maybe it was like Tyler Hero because he's always on wild shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, Tyler Hero started playing good too, so you don't know what's happening in the hotel rooms. Nah, but but I remember that story. I'm pretty sure because because they weren't allowed, like their significant others weren't allowed yeah, to come yeah, in, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so they found out <laughs> that it wasn't his girlfriend because they're not allowed in. Yeah, yeah. It was like one of, the, one of the. I think I've heard that story too. I don't know if it's Jamal Murray, but we'll leave one it One of at the that. caretakers. I don't yeah. know if it was it was him. 
or yeah. not. But I heard that story. Yeah, you know, you know what's fucked too? The Lakers, uh, whenever they went live in the bubble, yeah. they always were in these small ass hotel rooms. And then we we're like, oh, uh, AD asked uh, JR Smith, he's like, yo, where do you think LeBron's at? And then JR Smith, was like, they probably gave him a five star hotel. He probably has his own, like, oh, LeBron resort. wasn't staying there? No. Wow. <laughs> what do you think, fam? He's the king. Like, that's he, true, had, that's he has true. his own resort. Do you think he owns, like, a bunch of shares in the NBA? LeBron? I think he does. I don't know, man. He's probably rich, so he could do whatever he wants with the NBA. That's him. Mm. The NBA is LeBron. <laughs> How much is this sneaker deal with Nike? Oh, can we manifest that, bro? <laughs> no, manifest a, a Nike deal? A Nike deal. I've been manifesting a Nike yeah. deal, but I feel like I feel like I don't even care about Nike anymore. Oh yeah? Yeah. Damn. Change my mind. <laughs> Any sponsors out there, please. Change my mind. You know? they, <laughs> there was two, these two girls that, that were crying over like um, a, a collab with Disney. Because yeah. since they were little kids, they've always manifested a thing from Disney. And that was so like heartwarming to see. Mm. Like something, because like, you've always sucked off Nike, bro. No, like, like, it, it, was, it was around my whole life. Yeah, exactly. Like my first, my first sneakers were um, the Vince Carter, uh, what do you call it, shocks. Yeah. The Vince Carter shocks when yeah. Vince Carter was like dunking and shit when oh he was, goodness. you know what I mean? Yeah. Those are my first kicks ever. Yeah. And they were Nike. And then mm-hmm. uh, ever since that day, like I was saw sneakers as this special thing. Like yeah. you put on and all of a sudden you're a different person. Yeah. But I think that's like the whole um, agenda with the marketing they, they push too. Yeah. Look at, look at uh, like Mike. Oh, I was literally just going to say that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it was exact like you had, you had a like Mike moment. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's, I, I thought, oh, I'm faster. Yeah. I'm faster. I'm like, I can, I can move quicker. Like mm-hmm. whatever. Yeah. I mean, even, even um, in high school days, you put on Jordans, you feel like, oh, I'm, I'm the shit. Mm. Yeah. Right? I'm the shit. I'm fresh. Facts, facts. Like I'm, cause that's what the agenda is pushing with when you see these celebrities wearing it, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's, I think that's a good thing. What? It's not, it, it's a good thing for capitalism, but it's also a good thing for like shit ego too. For ego? For confidence. Especially mm-hmm. confidence. Yeah, that's true. But to be honest, if you like you strip away all of that, you should still be able to have confidence in yourself, right? No, but I think I like a lot of people they don't know the steps to take. Yeah. I think that's a good step to take. Oh yeah, for sure. I think for that's sure. a good like, step. Like like clothes to take. and shit and yeah. jewelry, yeah. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. Like I think that's a good step. Like step in the right direction. Because mm-hmm. some people it's hard to be it's hard to be very confident wearing like yes. Walmart clothes. Yeah. No, not to say there's nothing wrong with it. Like, you can be f- drippy as yeah. fuck. But but you'll go out because society doesn't, like, you know, ego up the, the Walmart clothes. Yeah, that's you're what's sad. Think, oh, that's what's sad. Shrink. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to, like, um, I mean, do, do you agree with, like, if you can't beat them, join them? Yes, that's all my life. <laughs> Damn, we sound like some real sheep right now, though. <laughs> all, my life, all my life, when when um the Golden State Warriors had their run, I bandwagon. I'm a professional bandwagoner. Word. I just I just like winners. You feel me? I'm not mm. gonna roll with the losing team. Yeah. You know what's the point of rolling with the losing team, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? So, I think I think that whole phase of me though is, is dead now. Really, is dead now. The the phase of like um buying buying these certain brands like. Nike, whatever, yeah. Like certain shoes, especially. Like, look, I was a huge sneakerhead. Yeah, huge sneakerhead. Mm-hmm. Now none of this shit matters to me. It's like, really, I think just what looks nice, like what I think looks nice, rather than like the brand itself. Because mm. these, to me, the colorway and the the silhouette, it still looks nice. Yeah, like even if it was a different brand, like I was probably still wear. Like true. But it's it's hard to say now, bro. It's hard really? to say because I'm so like brainwashed into Nike looks good. No, I don't. I, it's a it's totally different with me. What like, do you think? No, because like I want I want the coolest shit. Like yeah. I want to flex the coolest shit, not just for them, but for mm. me because I've always wanted it. I didn't have it before. Mm-hmm. That's why I'm literally just buying the shit that I couldn't buy ne- like before. Yeah, you know. That's fair. That's fair yeah, to say. Exactly. I think what uh, what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for some next like. What are you waiting for? There has to be some next designer doing some super <laughs> dope shit. That's like, it's it's completely different. Yeah. You know what I mean, because it, it's it's a lot of the same right now. Mm-hmm. Nah, but if you really look, there probably is. Like, there's always some like Mason Margiela. Like, no, I mean, sorry, in in the mainstream. Sorry. Oh, sorry, mainstream. Sorry. sorry, I meant I meant like. A designer that comes to the mainstream that changes everything. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because like uh, kids will try the weird shit, but it wouldn't be elevated just because they're yeah, kids. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. It's it's hard to see that. And I feel like mm-hmm. who's going to be the one, man? Who's going to be the one? Because you guys could be, man. Yeah, y'all could be that. 
y'all be there. Right, just take the steps that Virgil Abloh took. Because I want to see y'all do it. And Facts. If you can do that, I'll be proud of y'all. I lie. Shit, because look, the Virgil Abloh, how old was he? What, like uh, late 30s, 30s? Late 30s. I Mid 30s, 20, yeah. around. Yeah. So imagine when he was on his come up around his, what, 20s? Mm-hmm. The next generation's right behind. Yeah. No, we are the next generation. Yeah, the next generation is right yeah. behind. So and, y- y'all do your thing. Yeah, I know. That's why we have to always encourage like the the kids to go out and try stuff because they'll never like if you don't go out and take the risk, then life's not gonna reward you, right? Yeah, jumpers jump. Yeah. That that's what it means. Yeah. No, it doesn't. <laughs> that's what it means. <laughs> they still don't know the original meaning, and we will never give that. You, you can pay us. You can PayPal me uh, two thousand dollars. I'll tell you the real meaning, man. <laughs> Chill. <laughs> Chill out, how, how bro. Much, how much you want to bet? Like somebody would actually like be down to do that, though. Pay to know the real meaning of yes. jump for jump. Because some like, people know. If you if you're oh, on yeah. the Discord, Discord, if you guys yeah. are on the Discord, this plug in the Discord. Yeah, yeah. You guys are on the Discord. Y'all know no, the though. meaning of jump for facts, jump. Facts. Yeah, or at least you should if you tuned in like when mm-hmm. you were there. Yeah. Though the real ones know. The real yeah. ones know. I know it happens so quick. But some bro. people they decipher it. Some people decipher. Yeah, it. They, they always have the the logo is supposed to or like the slogan is supposed to have your own like twist to it you yeah yeah I mean? yeah because when what i think if you read the descriptions like jump in with carlos and gavin our description doesn't mm. match us anymore because we don't talk about streetwear we don't talk about- yeah we do i don't th- i don't think in the description you put anything about this conspiracy theories no i could i don't want to yeah exactly like, <laughs> like it doesn't make any sense well they know what we're talking about already <laughs> yeah true but like that that's not how it's been like it's been so old that we haven't updated it no that's not what it is that's on purpose oh yeah that's on purpose yeah yeah it was supposed to be that but mm-hmm. it, it still makes sense to me word because look everything else we talk about besides that is yeah. what is exactly in that description yes or no yeah kind of right just like bits and parts of it but it is it is still what we talk about no but the, the thing is yeah damn i don't want to like Give out my secrets, yeah. though. I don't want to give out my secrets. Your marketing secrets? My marketing secrets. Y'all can decipher what I mean by this, but like... Okay. It's like, oh, it creates some, another mystery, and then they have to see what we're talking about? I get... Nah. The description means one thing, right? Okay. What you see means another, mm-hmm. but the description is still what the podcast is about. Oh, okay, okay. Now, if you guys can decipher what I meant by that, yeah, y'all understand what I'm on. Got you. But it's a marketing tactic. Got you. Okay. I can't give out all my secrets, though, man. I can't give out all my secrets. I know. Secrets. Well, one day, I'll find your notebook, and then boom. You, you're looking at it, right? I see your eyes, like, looking at it. This motherfucker, bro. <laughs> Don't worry, man. We all eat, man. <laughs> at the end of the day, that's this why. This motherfucker. If, if, if there's so much money, if they're printing money, there's a lot of money to go around. <laughs> Just allow it, bro. Y'all can't catch me slipping, bro. Stop. Y'all that's can't like, catch me slipping. That's slipping. like your third, your third endorsement of that. <laughs> I should have sold some, to be yeah, honest. To be honest. <laughs> All right, anyways, we're running out of time. Facts, facts. But I just want to plug Oxfords real mm-hmm. quick. Because yes, this is coming out soon. Yep. And I, I just want you to be super excited for it when we do the live events mm-hmm. and I drop it for the pre-order. Yeah. Pre-order is going to be dropping this month. Oh, so keep shit. an eye out for it. If you, have, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be posting on Instagram right exactly when it drops. Mm-hmm. And yo... We're actually going to play Ox Wars. We're going to play Ox Wars. On our new Jumpers Club. So Jumpers we're going to be posting Club. exclusive content soon. Yes. I know y'all been waiting yes. for exclusive content. Facts. We finally got y'all. And yo, we have some vlogs Facts. coming there Everything. too. Everything. Ox Wars, mukbangs, whatever you guys want. It'll be exclusive though. Only to the Jumpers. So we're going to leave a link down in the description yep. for our Jumpers Club. If Facts. you guys want to see our exclusive content, stay tuned for that. We're going to be yep. playing Ox Wars there uh, next. Yes. You and finally... You finally don't get to see each other uh, like us behind a mic it's finally like us yeah y- y- y'all get to see a different side of us yes, y'all get exactly. to see some different content yep and super excited for that yes, so sir. join if you haven't yep. click the link in the description mm-hmm. stay tuned for that uh-huh. and yeah so to conclude this episode make sure to comment like subscribe all that good stuff go listen to apple spotify give us those ratings five star yes sir <laughs> jumpers jump out deuces